to 10. Idaho State Police recently made what it called its largest bust of marijuana in state history, saying they pulled nearly 7,000 pounds of product out of a semi truck headed to Colorado. Only the cargo might not be marijuana and it might not be illegal. Our Roland Barris joins us live in studio to explain. Right, Don, if it turns out to be hemp, which the federal government recognizes as something that is legal, the state could have some serious egg on its face, not to mention a lot of work to do ensuring that that mistake doesn't happen again. It looks like pot, it smells like pot, it even has a tiny amount of THC. But federal law says hemp is not pot and is legal. Idaho says not so fast. The new federal law, which came into effect on December 20th, requires some additional regulations before it becomes fully operable. So former Attorney General for Idaho David Leroy says until then, Idaho can continue to enforce its law banning hemp. And now it's the attorney for the hemp company that had its load confiscated saying not so fast. They can regulate it within the borders of their own state, but they can't prohibit uh, interstate commerce from taking place. Elijah Watkins with Stoll Reeves is suing the Idaho State Police because he says allowing states to limit interstate commerce can lead to chaos. Think of the implications. If that's not the case, Idaho could call up Utah and Utah could call up Arizona and they could all get together and say, let's all prohibit alcohol in our state. They could do that under the 21st Amendment and they could seize any truck that's coming from Budweiser and say we're not going to let it go through and effectively shut down the western seaboard. Leroy says the lawsuit has nationwide implications. This is a landmark case. A case he says is, is exactly the right remedy to speed along a decision about uh, which of these sovereign jurisdictions is correct. But even Leroy admits that federal law almost certainly it will trump state law. If these bags contain only hemp, Idaho could face damages, especially if the product, which is perishable, goes bad. Not only that, it will inevitably have to figure out how to test hemp in the future to prevent this from happening again. Hemp was legalized when the 2018 Farm Bill went into effect in December, but it seems Idaho was caught off guard. Out of a lot of states in the union, Idaho is standing alone as one of the few states that does not have a program that is in line with the 2018 Farm Bill. So hemp can have no more than 0.3% THC, but uh, Watkins says hemp companies generally make sure that every bit of their plant is below 0.3% THC because they don't want to have something happen where their, their crop is confiscated. Well, this has to be tough, uh, quite the dilemma for officers out on the road because they're just doing what they think is their job. Yeah, all sides agree on that. It is really difficult because they don't really have a good test for finding out the exact amount of THC in a product. So they're just doing what they can, but the state is gonna have to figure this out. In the meantime, companies that produce hemp, they better beware coming through Idaho until they get this all fixed up. Uh, more to follow on this story, I'm sure, Roland. Yeah, absolutely. All right.